what is up guys it's your boy jesse thank you for tuning in again so today i'm gonna be making a little update video for you guys i know it's been a while since i last updated you guys and there's reasons behind that uh, there has been events that have happened that kind of have uh in a sense demotivated us um kind of hurt our motivation to make videos but i want to change that up and i'm gonna tr attempt to uh, post up at least once a week and if i can't i'll do it at least once every two weeks but i'm gonna i'm gonna attempt to make it even more than that um, I do want to mention that the, ca the Cadillac is still in my possession. So I do want to mention that, uh, if you guys can see behind me, I don't have the Fiesta in the garage no more. And there is a reason behind that. Unfortunately, um, at the very end of 2018, uh, I don't even want to mention the gender, but someone ended up crashing into me and it ended up totaling the car out. That's super unfortunate, but um, in the way that I drove the car, because I, I would drive that car, uh, I would take it up to, I don't want to mention the speeds, but I would take it up pretty high in the miles per hour and I would just enjoy driving it because it was a driver's car. And um, after that accident, I wasn't, I was kind of uneasy that the car was not going to be the same. And in the way things ended up taking place, uh, the car got totaled out and I'm honestly kind of grateful because, um, like I said, um, I, dr I drove that car and if it wasn't going to be safe, um, I didn't want to, I didn't even want to own it. So. Like I said, the Cadillac is still in my possession, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to my daily currently. Um, you know, after the the Fiesta got totaled out, I needed another daily because that was my daily. Uh, that was The Fiesta actually had taken place of the smart car that was my daily before that. Um, if you guys have seen videos of that, um, that would explain it. But now that the Fiesta is gone, I actually ended up fixing up the free E46. If you guys uh, remember this car, look nothing like this I'll, you know, I'll include a clip of how it looked before um i included i'll actually include the clip of when i blew up the radiator more than it already was you gotta make sure you can see right and if we got a badass bmw how much you get it for free damn free fucking car look at this shit shit runs no weird noises no nothing shit's a gem um, but yeah guys, I ended up actually picking up another E46 to fix this E46. So let me show you this E46 so you get, you can get a gist of what I did to it. So here we have uh, the free E46. She doesn't really have a name, um, but as you guys can tell, um, the whole front end is pretty much new. I ended up reusing the fenders. I was going to replace that fender on that side, but uh might as well keep the good fenders for the 330 because i ended up picking up another e46 uh, i got a really good deal on a local 330i which is the same as that car just a, a 3.0 um and the reason i didn't actually end up dailying the 330 was because uh, the previous owner it was like a younger uh kid no i mean not kid because he was probably like my age but he's like a younger dude I, uh, his dad actually ended up selling me the car because he was out i don't know doing whatever but so i ended up getting that really cheap and like i said the it was like a younger kid who owned the car so he abs deleted the other car and just ended up uh, doing things here and there and i just didn't feel safe driving that car because i don't know i don't know how good he uh fixed those issues or fixed the brake lines and i didn't want to take the risk that i ended up like dying one day you know so i ended up fixing this car because i knew this car was good and that's what my thought was uh yes yesterday i actually had to fix it the water pump went out on it this car ended up leaving leaving me stranded on uh two nights ago and yeah so it was a whole issue it was like 11 at night when i got home um i definitely overheated the car but i'm super grateful that the the head gasket didn't blow up let me show you i actually do still have to drain uh the water because i just put straight water in the the coolant reservoir or whatever and i want to put some actual blue coolant in it what it requires but but yeah guys uh i mean the car has been running pretty good um i ended up just leaving that belt off for the, the like the ac condenser or the ac whatever the pump the ac pump uh because that pulley right there that one right there down there um, it's actually making like a rattle. I ended up replacing the hood, the the radiator support, the radiator. Uh, I converted it to an electric fan because I didn't like clutch fans. Um, those kind of freaked me out. 
So I converted it to an electric fan, super easy. Uh, I didn't make a video about, I actually did kind of make a video about that, but I didn't like how it turned out because in all honesty, there's plenty of videos about that online and I don't want to just make another video that already has been covered plenty of times before. So um, this car has been running pretty good. Uh, I put about 3,000 miles in it, probably in the less than a month. Uh, I just I just started dailying it not so long ago. Uh, I was daily driving I was daily driving the Ice 300 Caroline, but unfortunately it developed a pretty bad oil leak, and I don't really want to be driving it like that. She was like she was leaking a lot of cool. I mean a lot of oil. I was having to put a quart man like every thousand miles, and it was just ridiculous. So I just took her off the road. Um, I put her on PNO again, and I do intend to giving it a refresh, and I will be uh, cleaning up the garage here so it's uh, it can rest there while I uh, begin that restoration I guess you could call it so I ended up having to actually climb through the, the back seat of the car and I had to open the little release latch or whatever the safety latch inside the trunk because uh, I ended up disconnecting the battery last time I for totally forgot when it told me it was dying I disconnected it and yeah here's a design that I said that I kind of wish uh, Cadillac had made this a little better so as you can see this is the negative terminal right here and it gives you an idea of where the battery is going to actually end so it's probably near this line here where the, the battery is and unfortunately to get that section out i mean to get the battery out i actually have to take off this whole section which is all of this and yeah that's something that i wish cadillac would have taken a little more consideration for because uh simple things like that like may annoy drivers and or owners and yeah i mean the battery lasted me a while and the reason it ended up dying was because i totally forgot that you're not supposed to leave the keyless entry key inside and i just left it in there and it ended up dying oh i didn't die but it's just low so i finally got the, the whole carpeting out on the left side of the car but it took a lot more than what i really expected i didn't really expect it to be like this thorough to like just get the battery out they could have done this a little differently so that in the event the battery does go out you don't have to pull this out because i mean a lot of these pins or a lot of these uh tabs are actually like one use only so that's what i'm saying like they could have done it a little differently so let me show you what they did so i took off this section here and then i took off this whole section uh had to take off that little section there and then i took off of this here um but now the battery is accessible all i have to do is like unbolt it from here uh there's a vent tube here and then i think this is held on somehow but it's pretty straightforward um, i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll give you guys a little sound clip once it's charged <coughs> what is up guys it's your boy jesse uh, i literally just woke up but i wanted to go ahead and continue the video that i started a couple days ago unfortunately when i where i live um it gets really windy throughout the week i don't know why it's just like something that happens here and on the weekends it's usually the time when you can kind of go outside and record some videos so for right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the cadillac um i literally have it parked outside because if you guys can't see right here um unfortunately the last clip that i told you guys i said i was going to be fixing the 323i uh that was the e46 that i was gifted for free unfortunately mentioned that the water pump had failed and when that failed i I honestly, I noticed the temp gauge, uh, I caught it before it overheated, but at the time, there was a lot of traffic on the freeway, and I didn't really want to pull over on the freeway because I knew if I would have pulled over on the freeway, I wouldn't have been able to get a quick enough uh, AAA call as soon as I did. Uh, I actually had to overheat the car a little bit so I could get off the freeway, but I didn't think it was going to like blow the head gasket, but... <clears throat> After I finished doing the water pump and I put like $50 worth of coolant in it, I ended up finding out that the coolant ended up mixing with the actual oil. So I was in a position where I I either had to fix the 323i, where I would have probably dropped another thousand into it, or I could um, bring back to life the 330i that I initially took all the parts off. And who doesn't want a 3.0 over a 3. Point, I mean a 2.5? So of course I'm bringing the 330 back out unfortunately this bucket has uh expired registration so i have to go figure that out first i mean i'm gonna go ahead and get the car ready and then i'll go ahead and uh pay the registration because i'm not really driving the car at all um but yeah that's the situation i'm in now let me go ahead and uh <clears throat> open the garage door so i can go ahead and show you the cadillac i believe i left the key in there but if i didn't um 
I'll just <clears throat> I'll cut the video and I'll come get the key but please excuse my voice I am actually sick at the moment I have my coffee here right now uh, there is the free E46 uh, I just got to take the hood off of that and it's pretty much ready. I took the water pump and I put it on this one It's the exact same shit. Uh, this car ended up actually having a, wa a auto zone water pump, too You know you had to go with that Vato zone cuz it's quality So let me go ahead and see if I left the key inside the Cadillac. So um, I want you guys to realize that The ice 300s We love these. I don't think I don't know if this car is ever gonna leave our possession. This is actually Gus's but I don't think this car is ever going to leave our possession. Uh, <clears throat> it's an absolutely treasure. Uh, the way he got it, the way, the whole story behind it, it's it's a treasure. And just to mention, we still do have the COP IS300. Uh, for those of you who do not know, this is our 2003? 2003, I think, or 2002 uh, IS300. Uh, unfortunately, we bought it from the previous owner who had it wrecked by a cop. Uh, that's why they say don't. Don't be distracted while you're driving. He actually, he was on his laptop and he just sideswiped it. And he caused, <clears throat> he ended up getting the car paid off through the police, whatever, settlement. And yeah, the car still holds a clean title, so that's that's pretty cool. So we'll see what happens with this, but here, uh, here is the beast, <clears throat> the main attraction. So let me mention this. It's been, it's been sitting outside for two days because I've been messing with the E46s. As you guys can see, the wind already started. I said the weekends are sometimes nice. I, I'm, I'm assuming this weekend is not going to be that nice. So I'm going to go ahead and check if the keys inside, and then I'll turn it on so you guys can see what I'm um, what I'm experiencing. I'm pretty certain. Damn, I got to get used to filming again. But I'm pretty certain I, I cracked piston number four, and unfortunately, once you crack that piston, uh, you just get like a Christmas light. Like all your all your dash lights come on, your ABS, your traction control, everything comes on. So if I show you guys from the current startup, you guys are gonna see that all those uh, lights come on. That doesn't mean that the car is broken. Well, I mean it means the engine is fucked, but that doesn't mean the car itself is broken. It's just uh, I'm assuming they do that so you get in into the dealership as soon as you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Uh, the car absolutely has a third, a third of the power it used to. Um, I'm assuming it leak. I don't know how it works, but it just feels like it has a mean old boost leak, kind of similar to the one from last time, but <coughs> not as bad. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Um, I'll actually start up. I'll get the startup screen and then I'll move my way out so you guys can see. And there are my little bananas. So from the two days that it was outside, it, it got shitted on and it got rained on. Oh, luckily I left the key in here. Uh, let me make sure my my Bluetooth is off because it will connect to the car. So here I am inside the battle deck. Oh, I do want to mention I gutted the trunk because um, since I had to recharge the battery because the battery had died on this car because I left the key this entry inside the car. Um, I just gutted the back the back area just to see how much weight you could actually save. And I guess that I had guessed it being a roughly about 20 pounds. And it ended up being like 22 pounds. So I think I'm going to be making the quest. Uh, I think it's safe to say before I even start the car up. I'm going to be making the quest for. I don't want to make a, a a wild number. But I would love to. I would love to uh, make 400 wheel with this car one day. I think it has much more in it than that. Once I do the built bottom end. If you guys kind of got that hint. That's what's coming next. Well, let me go ahead and just show you guys the car. So here it is. Um, hopefully the battery is still alive. Um, I would hope so. So clutch in. As you guys can hear it, she does not like turning on. Um, so yeah, guys, those are the those are the the things I was saying. So the. The check engine light blinks. Um, that typically does not happen whenever you have a check engine light. Let's say you did a catalyst downpipe. Uh, that light would not be check, uh, flashing. So that's a give and tell that the car is not running how it should be. That That's a pretty severe uh, issue. Uh, it has a, When I connected it to the USB port or the OBD2 port, 
Um, it does have a check engine light for misfire in cylinder number four. So I'm assuming cylinder number four. It took a shit. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, I only put two miles. I mean, two thousand miles since the rebuild. Please excuse the exhaust. Um, if you guys don't remember, I had to cut the exhaust off when um, when I was installing the ZZP rear sway bar because um, I didn't initially want to drop the whole exhaust. I wish I would have because now I don't have exhaust. I don't have the stock exhaust. Why well, do it's like over there by the trash and shit, but I'm not gonna put that on just to have the exhaust tip. So but I do have an exhaust. I never really spoke about that. I ended up buying the ZZP exhaust. Um, I did want to do a review about that, but that's kind of when my car broke. So I'm, unfortunately I couldn't really provide you guys with a true, true um, review from an owner. I did have the exhaust on this and I will be making a video about that exhaust uh, soon once that car is back and running pristinely uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and probably turn off the car because um, it's probably not good for you to be running with a bad with a dead cylinder so yeah I mean it just sounds like it's camped um, here you guys go so you guys can see my my nice exhaust with the ZZP rear sway bar I love that rear sway bar it makes the car feel a lot better um, but yeah guys there's the, the chop muffler right there at the axle back and yeah guys so that's where I'm at with the Cadillac. It is what it is. That's what that's what happens. Um, if you love cars and you beat on them, they're likely gonna break at one point or another. And that's what it is. So yeah, guys, um, the Cadillac it's gonna it's gonna be chilling for a little bit while I pick up the parts that I need. And then once I have those parts, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys. And from there, we'll see what happens. I totally forgot to give you guys like a little rev. So this is with the <clears throat> with the door open, um, and I'm just giving it a quick little rev. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.